Okay, uh, we're recording. Um, hello, class. Um, uh, I want to welcome Bob Reed. He is the director of uh, Starter Studio, uh, an organization, an accelerator that has supported hundreds of entrepreneurs uh, go through their mm -hmm. initial phase of business planning and launching their businesses. Uh, uh, Bob, uh, uh, welcome to Entertainment Entrepreneurship. Thank you. HF4398, mm -hmm. fall of okay. 2024. Our students here are working on business model on the business model canvas for their own ideas related to entertainment entrepreneurship. It's a project based course. Uh, mm -hmm. They've gone through the business model canvas and they have an outline of their business model. I'd like for you to share a little bit, Bob, about your experience yourself, Starter Studio, and 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 the amazing entrepreneurial ecosystem we have here in Orlando and Central Florida with all of the partners, NEC, the business incubator, and how our students, in your suggestions on how our students can seek guidance, network with these different groups, take their ideas, mm -hmm. mentors like yourself and other mm -hmm. mentor networks, and, and, and kind of leverage the community resource uh, to actually go ahead and, and, and launch their businesses. So with that, Bob, I'll turn it over to you. And thank you once again. Okay. So much for taking oh, my yeah my pleasure and thanks thanks for having me i enjoy this uh this is my life this is what i do um on a day-to-day -day basis and and literally for the past five years very very intensively working with founders of all type all different industries uh not only the entertainment industry but biotech and aerospace aviation so uh we really work across all different type of verticals and different uh markets um so we're excited to be here and, and really lend to this uh program in the course that uh you put together i think it's exciting we like to see more and more of this uh because we do work with quite a few other universities and exciting to see that they've got centers for entrepreneurship and, and they're starting to build this um, so we're so glad to see that. So I'll take it a piece at a time. I can start with Starter Studio and who we are. Uh, we're actually a, a not-for-profit business accelerator. Uh, you will see for-profit business accelerator. And if you've watched the recent news, you'll see Plug and Play has entered our market. Uh, fantastic. And we're very excited about it. And they are a for-profit accelerator. And, and I'll put that to the side and we'll just talk about what we do. So we're funded by the county and the city. Um, and we work with founders in a very early stage. And I like to say we take them from a napkin of an idea over to their very first money that they raise. And so those are our bookends. And we work there because that usually is the area that many people do not spend a whole lot of time with. They kind of go, great, you know, you've started your company, you're making revenue. Okay, now I want to, you know, connect and engage. But the hardest part is really this early, early stage. So that's been our focus for 10 years is working with early stage uh, entrepreneurs. And yes, we use the business model canvas, the value proposition canvas. They're, they they guide uh, much of what we do too. And so what we do is we kind of break the entrepreneurial journey down um, into three levels or three stages. And we take entrepreneurs through the thought of, do I have a valid business? You know, can this actually make money? Will people uh, pay for it? Um, and that's our idea stage. And then in our second stage called build, we actually say, now build it. <laughs> How are you going to build this business? What are all the pieces to it? And as I look at, you know, the business model canvas, we're really saying, hey, how are you figuring out all the elements of those nine boxes? And a lot of what we do is we give great feedback to the people going through the program. And that feedback is really, hey, is this really, you know, smart? Is this viable? Can you really make a business? But constantly as we take them through, uh, especially the second and third stage, I say, I put my investor hat on and I said, is this a fundable business? You know, would you be able to get money? And so we can guide them. And, uh, and in some cases they say, I don't have a fundable business, but I've got a darn good business here and I want to continue. Terrific. Uh, but they, if I want to continue into being a fundable business, then in our third stage, third level, we call it pre-seed. And we really focus for 14 weeks on how do you raise money? How do you speak with investors? And what we say is have a consequential meeting. So, uh, so we work with people. And I can't say we don't do that alone. It's impossible to do it alone. You must be part of the ecosystem. 
And anywhere you go, you can go to Silicon Valley, you can go to New York and Boston, and any founders you work there are part of an ecosystem and it's very localized. And that's where you're going to get your resources. Those are the people that will give you success. And if you talk to any entrepreneur and if they're, you know, been in business for five or 10 years, they said, impossible for me to do this without connecting to the rest of the ecosystem. And uh, the, fortunately, if you're here in Orlando or Central Florida, and basically we work between Daytona and Tampa, so that's our Central Florida ecosystem, there is a wealth of resources, subject matter experts, mentors, you name it, uh, that are part of that ecosystem. And, and they're phenomenal. And we leverage that a great deal. And part of our secret sauce, we call it is, how do we connect people to that ecosystem? So if you're working on a, on a startup and you say, okay, here's my customer. Here are the people I need to talk to. Well, we can connect you to people that, that are trying to solve that problem. So when you're in that early stage, you're trying to validate, uh, say, do, do I really have a customer that will pay for this? We can assist you. Um, and the other parts of the ecosystem will do the same. But we're really a gateway. That's how we see ourselves as the founders start with us and how do we introduce them to the various resources. And so that might be as simple as these are the people that are trying to solve this problem. Let me talk to them. Well, then your next step is, oh, I got to find out people that really are going to buy this. And how do I begin to present to them what my prototype is? And now I go to the next stage of being able to get that feedback. And then ultimately, you're going to walk in and say, hey, will you buy this? Um, and you need to get that validation and you must, must buy it. So in the ecosystem, it really cuts across subject matter experts, people that know marketing, they know legal, they know development. Um, then you have mentors. And these are people that might be serial entrepreneurs, people like myself, others that work at Starter Studio, maybe at the UCF Incubator. Um, and these are people that are dedicated to helping founders. They really dedicate their time. They have a passion for it. And you'll find they're very giving of their time. They, they want you to succeed. And in fact, all of us are here to help founders succeed because the failure rate is too high. And our mission collectively in the ecosystem is how do we bring that risk down and make you more successful? So you have subject matter experts, you have mentors, advisors. Um, there are also many, many, and I kid you not, you could spend uh, Monday through Thursday every night going to an event uh, that is focused on entrepreneurship. And I think the really exciting thing is it's not just a gathering of everybody. We have those through the Orlando tech community. We can get 300 people together on a Thursday night, and it's a phenomenal turnout. But also, if you happen to be a developer or if you happen to focus on entertainment, uh, Web3, um, you know, and then everything from Bitcoins to everything involved in Web3, uh, there are groups that meet and talk about that. Gaming, uh, I'm in a building and the whole first floor is about gaming and people developing gaming. So um, so you can really find the group and community that you can you know, focus on and attend those events, but they also you know, can help you with mentoring. So that's the ecosystem. And, and I, I could probably talk an hour about the ecosystem, but uh, really I, I think what you should be confident of is no matter where you are in various stages, you can get assistance. If you qualify for a government grant, we have a place you can go and people that are expert in getting government grants, if you happen to qualify for that. And many do. Many of our, our founders do. So um, well, another question. I know I've, I've, I think I've answered it. I'm not sure, but I want to be no, sure. Bob, this is this is fantastic. No, thank you so much okay. for that. Our students, you, you saw the uh, overall syllabus of the of the course you and I went yeah. through it. And thank you for your mm -hmm. your your feedback. Um they, they've gone through the exercise of thinking through the nine modules of the business model canvas. They've done fantastic mm -hmm. work. Each and every Perfect. one of them has really, um, you know, been able to apply the, what they've mm -hmm. learned from their readings. Um, and, and, and they're seniors. So, so um, the students are mm -hmm. at, at that point in their life where they're taking their next step. Many of them probably already have jobs lined up. Some of them mm -hmm. uh, might want to launch their own company. Uh, where should they start, Bob? If I'm a senior, okay. 
And, yes. and I've put together, I've gone through this class with Dr. Rendo and put together a business <laughs> model canvas. I'm uh -huh. working on my SWOT analysis. I'm, I'm looking at all these des design patterns from the business models generation, these strategies. I've learned uh, storytelling, some basics of it. Yes. And, and I've articulated my value proposition and I'm mm -hmm. excited about my <laughs> concepts. Uh, yeah. Where should they start? What should okay. they first, how do they reach out to you? What's your advice oh, sure. on? on how they should prepare yeah. for that first contact with a mentor, with a possible investor. Yeah. How, how would I prepare as a senior student going through this, this class to meet with yeah. you, for instance? Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, I'd be happy to answer that. Yes, there, there's a, a bit of a bias in what I'm about to say, um, but I'm confident we can actually help you. And that's exactly what we do is we take early stage founders, some of which have had this academic rigor and they have that background. We have people that come from the Rollins Business School and from Embry-Riddle and uh, UCF, and they'll enter our programs. So we have programs that we take people through, um, and it is a very guided, structured program. So we can really evaluate where are they today? What do they need now? Because that entrepreneurial journey is, is pretty predictable. And we, and we literally work with people that are, are launching space balloons. And their problems are exactly the same as somebody who's got a mobile app. And so we can say, here's where you are and here's what you need now. And so we can help you with connecting to the ecosystem, but also be able to take you through a process that says, before you spend a lot of money and a lot of time, let's make sure you've got a very feasible, viable business um, and you have something that people really want and it solves a problem. And that's the key thing to really solve a problem. So we can help you evaluate that if you're further along. If you said, hey, Bob, I hear you, but I, I'm really sound. I've got people that are ready to buy this. OK, so I'm a little further along. Then we can have you go right into a, our build program and we can start building your business. Um, and so there are many other resources like that, depending on your business. Uh, Rally is a fantastic organization, and they work with benefit organizations, not for profit. And so if you happen to fall in that category, they do similar things, uh, but they've got real strength in that area. Uh, Black Orlando Tech, very similar, uh, but their focus is on uh, people of color and what they do and how to help them. And they have resources that we don't generally have. Um, and, and Bob, so, you, you'll, be, you'll be Go able ahead. to connect students when they come through. So yeah, we, we, yes. so what, what, what I'd like you to kind of uh, provide guidance and advice to, to the students yes. who are coming through is how mm -hmm. should I prepare as a student? Like, what should I do mm -hmm. when I come to meet with you? Um, yep. Should I be dressed in a suit? And Thai, hmm. should I bring my team <laughs> along with me? Okay. Uh, in my email introduction to you about my business, yeah. how do I introduce myself? What's your mm -hmm. advice to students? Because they'll be reaching out to you. They'll be mm -hmm. reaching out to other mentors. And I want to yeah. help my students who've gone through this process have a good strategy on how mm -hmm. they should prepare to meet with okay. people if they're sending an email if it's yeah. a phone meeting, if it's a Zoom meeting, and mm -hmm. how do they get that first in-person meeting? How do they ask for that one hour of time to, okay. to meet with a mentor? And then sure. you, know, you can give advice to me as to, okay, I've gone through the business model canvas. I've gone through Dr. Yes. Rental's course. Mm -hmm. How should I prepare to meet with mentors? So if you can kind of- Sure, I'd yeah, be yourself... happy to. Yes, yes. And and we've worked with uh, many college students in the, in this same respect. So I can speak very confidently that, that it works. What I, stands I, out? What what makes you yeah. impressed? What what creates good <laughs> first impressions? We know first impressions matter okay. a lot. So if you yes. can give some advice, that would be very helpful. Yeah, I'd be happy to. Um, and especially if you've been through the business model canvas, I'm sure you've, you've worked on, you know, what's your elevator pitch, right? Um, what is that one minute uh, thing you can say? Uh, but I would say as far as preparing yourself, uh, obviously what you've done in this program is fantastic. You've got a lot of good information. And I would come prepared with what's the problem you're solving? Uh, because anybody in the entrepreneurial ecosystem understands that um, I don't want to hear about your technology. I don't want to hear about these things. What I want to hear about is, hi, my name is Bob. We're, me and my team, if I have one, are trying to solve this problem and we need advice. We need your help in helping to solve this problem. Perfect way of, of you know, setting it up. 
And I would say, do that in some of these events. And we've done it. Well, I've had college students come in and we actually introduce them to people, either subject matter experts, mentors. And what you'll find is immediately they'll say, sure, when, you know, let's get together because you'll find that the ecosystem, especially here, and I've worked with people in Silicon Valley and they go, you guys have a unique ecosystem. People, people want to help each other. Um, and we do. And so I've done it. And uh, other people do the same thing. And we make introductions. And very often it's to people that are founders that are already working on founding a business, but it's very similar to what you're working on. So if you're working in gaming, there's four people that come to mind and I say, let me introduce you to them. So I'll talk to you as a mentor, let's say, but I want to be sure you're connecting with someone working in your space, something very similar um, that wouldn't necessarily be a competitor, but very similar. And then they can share their experience. And by the way, who they've connected with, right? Who has been most helpful to them. And so you'll find very quickly, your head will actually start to spin because you'll have so many contacts. But if you come prepared with, hey, here's a problem we're solving. Here are the people that we think have this problem. And really you're saying, I need information. I need advice. Um, can you help me? And I would say nine times out of 10, no problem. Somebody will give you that. And it may be right on the spot. They'll say, here, let's walk over here and, and let's talk for 10, 15 minutes. Or they'll say, here's my email, you know, connect with me. And uh, so you'll find it's relatively easy. And yes, the first few times you do it, you'll probably be nervous and you'll say, oh my gosh, why would this person want to meet with me? And then after you do a half a dozen of them, it, it will become very easy to be able to, you know, to connect with people. And that's where going to these events face to face, people will start to see you and you'd be amazed. It, yeah, you'll start to connect. So that, I find that's the easiest. If you do an email campaign, they don't know you. Um, but what you're really looking for is that introduction. And, I, and I've done it and I say, hey, I know this person. This is what they're working on. Um, and, and I'll have them explain it a little bit further. Um, and, and that's what those events are about. It's all about networking and connecting. So um, that, that's the easiest. You'll get the most you know, benefit and the most traction, if you will you know, after, you know, doing it that way. So well, thank you so much. So yeah. quickly to summarize, if I got the mm -hmm. key points, uh, yeah. if I was a student going out and seeking mentorship, guidance, advice, the first thing I need to have is a one minute mm -hmm. elevator pitch. What Absolutely. am I, a quick yeah. introduction, a one minute elevator pitch. If I, uh, I should be looking at various events in my, in my community. Yes. They yep. can look at Eventbrite for some of these events and search for Absolutely. tech events and, and yep. there's many resources. So then I'll be looking for mm -hmm. those events. Some of them are free to sign up. Uh, Starter yes. Studio has events so that I can be looking at events that you host and other yep. people host. Mm -hmm. And then I need to sign up for these events and, and be prepared, you know, dress sharp, maybe show up with my team. I need to yes. understand what my needs are. I need to have a slide mm -hmm. or, you know, at least some talking points on what do I need? Yes. What kind of help do I think I need? Mm -hmm. And then uh, be able to very succinctly, uh, you know, in five minutes, get that across in a personal, in a one-on-one -on -one setting or in a, in a, in a, in an event setting as I get to meet people. Yes. And, and exactly. what you also said was if mm -hmm. they are a connection here, Bob, and how we're trying to help and you're trying to help our students mm -hmm. is you're giving them a starting place where they have exactly. a safe environment, they can come yeah. to you and you're going to give them about 10 minutes of your time and five mm -hmm. minutes of feedback, bring some other mentors maybe, and you're thinking of doing this on, on Zoom, they can send you an email and get connected, or maybe there's an event, yes. they come to your site. Mm -hmm. and, you know, we have about 24 students, so we have 24 projects. Uh, <laughs> so that's a lot of time. That's and, a lot of projects. <laughs> that's a lot of projects, and, and they're, yes. they're very high quality. Every one of them, Bob, has put in a Brilliant. lot of effort uh, I would say uh, uh, they put in about 30 to 40 hours of time already into this at this point. That's great. And, they, and okay. they're at a point where when they meet with you, they're looking to revise their business model, tweak it, get your feedback. Yep. And one of the mm -hmm. things I'm requiring them to do in their reflection report is they have to kind of uh, outline how they've taken the feedback and incorporated it. And mm -hmm. what does the service network, the, the ecosystem mean to them in terms of their business? Yeah. They write that in the reflection report. And the idea yeah. is to prepare them, prepare myself as a student to go out after this class and actually yes. be able to be very successfully navigate the ecosystem exactly. and present myself and be taken very yeah. seriously 
and and get the support mm-hmm. I need to launch my company. So so that's a quick yeah. summary, Bob. Is that and then and then and then yeah. if you can Better. kind of outline how you plan to support our students who've gone through this sure. background. Uh, if you can yeah. show a little bit of that and what's the best way for us to kind of put this together, yeah. uh, share that with the students. Yeah. And and the way I can support you best is, um, you, you know, to meet one-on-one with you, um, you can present your, here's my problem, right? Here's the solution we're working on. Here are the people that would need this. Um, and that'll be very helpful because then I'll begin to understand, you know, what, what kind of business are you building? What kind of business model do you have? And so I can give you at least advice on, you know, how well that's shaping up. Um, and yes, I always have that investor hat on and I'll say, hey, this is an investable, fundable company or there's, you know, it has the potential for that or it, you may have to change it. And I have this conversation every week to say, you know, you're going to have to morph and change this a bit, you know, if that's what you're looking for. Um, and so, yes, I can meet one-on-one for Zoom calls. I can share my calendar um, and I'll, I'll work with you on that. Um, uh, and you know, we can take it from there. Uh, one last bit of advice real quickly is, um, get very good at talking about what you do. Um, if you think, oh, I have to show up with a PowerPoint. Um, no, in fact, that can work to your detriment. Um, it's better that, and that's why you're going to these events, you're sharpening your pitch, you're sharpening that elevator pitch. And then when you meet with the people, you should be able to articulate that. You should have a command of what you're doing to be able to talk about it versus saying, oh, well, I need to get a PowerPoint and go through my slides. Um, so my best advice as you navigate the ecosystem, and, and, and I've had to learn, I've been in corporate America and you always showed up with a PowerPoint. You know, you had to, right? And then I got into the entrepreneurial ecosystem and everybody just talks. You know, you just <laughs> forget your PowerPoint. And I know there's a good discipline for doing it and you have a pitch deck, um, but you'll find 90% of what you do, even if you work with a very sophisticated investor, they'll sit down and they'll start talking about two, $3 million deals. And they're just talking, you know, there's, there's not a whole lot of slides. So uh, my last piece of advice. Oh, thank so, you so but much yes, I love to, love to connect with you. Thank you so much for that, Bob. Um, and yeah. I think the takeaway for us is that you know it's good to have all the powerpoints do all the due diligence go through the discipline yep. that we've done in the course but you have to be able yep. to talk about it and exactly. uh, and we and have mastery over your project understand exactly. right off the bat where the strengths are yep. weaknesses are and what you need so this is very very helpful bob i look okay. forward to your calendar we have 24 students you know, I know time is a constraint. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. suggesting maybe 15 minutes so where yep. they can articulate very quickly to you in five to seven minutes and you can give them some feedback and, sure. and you can meet by Zoom or in person, however you want to schedule it yeah. as a group, whatever you want. If maybe five of them can come together as a group and you can quickly yeah. go through uh, yep. each one-on-one. Uh, but we'll work those details out and I'll post it in the class. Okay. Uh, I'm hoping Perfect. that they will get all of this feedback by the first week, second week of November, 15th of November. So that gives them okay. time to kind yep. of wrap it up, yep. incorporate it and submit their final reports right. in, in the first week of December. Bob, yeah. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Sure. Uh, class. My pleasure. I, I, I hope you've paid attention to every second of this <laughs> video. This is probably the nugget and the highlight of, of what you're learning here uh-huh. because Bob has just revealed secrets of how you can leverage <laughs> this massive ecosystem that's yes. waiting to support you and help you launch your business. So, Absolutely. So this yeah. is... Orlando ecosystem secrets revealed by <laughs> by none other than Bob right. Reed himself, director. Exactly. Of I, I need a, pom- a podcast now. <laughs> yes, you certainly do, Bob. We should right. think about it. But thank you so much once again. My Bob. pleasure. I appreciate okay. your time. Thank you. Sure. Thank you.